Hey everybody, Chad from Nature Box Pet Emporium here today with a big brown box. Stick around and find out what's in the box. All right, so we have ourselves a box today and inside of this box is some glorious, wonderful, beautiful reptiles. We always like to show you guys what we get. So without further ado or gilding the lily, Let's open up this here box <clears throat> to find out what is inside. These packs still look good, so this is shipped to, uh, um, what you call it, Southwest, so it is an overnight, or it's not even overnight, it's same day, same day shipping, so come on in, take a gander at, the, uh, at what we got. There is some other things that I am excited for. Uh, if you've been watching our channel for a long time, you know I'm a sucker for a chameleon, so I did see that he had some Kenyan animals uh, available so naturally I bought all of them that I could so we'll start there so these are uh, Kenyan Jackson chameleons this is a different species this is not your Xanthalobus uh, Jacksons the ones that come from Hawaii these are uh, commonly known as the rainbow Jackson chameleons because they get really colorful and then the cool thing worth noting about these is that the females are also horny they have horns just the same as males. This particular uh, female Jackson chameleon appears to be gravid, so that's really, really cool. I will struggle to sell this one, um, but at the same time, I can't keep everything, unfortunately. Elisa yells at me when I keep try to keep things. So we got a few pairs of those because those are basically never available and we try to get the cool things because I know I can put them in the hands of people who, uh, who can do good with them. Another pair of those. This female looks like she could be gravid too. Uh, so here is one of those leaf tail gecko species. So these are uh, Europlatus lineatus. These geckos come from the area of Madagascar, uh, known as like the bamboo forest. I think you can probably figure out why, uh, because they look like bamboo. So if you can imagine, these guys in the wild just uh, posted up on a piece of bamboo, you would not be able to see them. It's always been on my bucket list to set up a, uh, to set up a terrarium for these guys that has vertical pieces of bamboo. Um, you know, maybe something like an Exoterra 36, 18, 36, just with bamboo in it. That would be amazing and put maybe like two pairs of them in there. Really cool. Um, you know, it's, it's, on the, it's on the someday list. And like I said, it was Madagascar. Unfortunately, I think these are all males. Um, we'll see if I can make that happen someday. All right, so we continue on. Something that he brought in. These are really, really cool. We haven't had these guys for a while. They were just out of season. As we get into springtime, uh, it kind of the, it shifts what's available. So here's one. I think we have more in here, but a baby frill dragon. So these are the Indonesian variety of frilled dragons. These aren't the really, really cool Australians, but fortunately, these are really, really cool Indonesian ones. So those uh, make really good pets. They're, they're easy to take care of, tons of personality. We've got a female varicosis chameleon. If you didn't watch my video on varicosis chameleons, you should. This is basically a full-grown female varicosis. Uh, you know, they get that really, really cool neon green slash amber orange kind of color to them really really cool so these are chad blue tongue skinks i don't think it's a locality specific to the country of chad i think they're just mine uh won't open those up for you but i can feel that there's some feisty blue tongue skinks in there a little smaller size so those will be awesome and another bag of blue tongue skinks Moving right along, we got ourselves some bright yellow snakes. So these are green tree pythons. <clears throat> Guaranteed to bite you right in the nose if you get your face close enough. So tree snakes uh, start out yellow in life, will turn green. Not a snake good for holding. If you want a snake that you can hold, do not get yourself a tree python. That would be an exceedingly bad idea. One last pair of Jackson's chameleons. And here we go. So these are the last of the mossy leaf tail geckos. 
which fortunately these look pretty good. These all have regenerated tails. These geckos will regrow their tails. Uh, when a mossy leaf tail has a regenerated tail, typically it's smaller and, and more rounded. It doesn't look, it doesn't look, you know, air quotes natural. So you can see there, this is definitely a regenerated tail. It'll probably get bigger, but not as cool as the original tail, but it is just fine. So it looks like we got four of those at a glance. Female, 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 female. Looks like we got four females. So males are definitely easier to come by. So hopefully we can place these with some breeders who have males or maybe we can find some males ourselves. We got another cute little baby frill dragon. That one is adorable. <clears throat> the quintessential frog. When you think tree frog, you think red eye. So these guys look really, really nice. Actually, that guy is fantastic looking. Look at these guys all frogged up under the top. So great, uh, great pets. Red eye tree frogs are fantastic. We've got a whole slew of pink toe tarantulas. So if you are into pink toes, if you are into pink toes, then we have what you are after. So I think we got a few dozen of those guys. You gonna take one of those out for the camera? Definitely not. Everybody knows, or you can infer from my answer, I'm not that big of a fan of the uh, big hairy spiders. I think they're cool, I can appreciate them, they are neat, but they can be neat inside of their cup. So one more green tree python. These are really cool, the cousin of the toke gecko. These are the green-eyed geckos. So if you think uh, tokays are just a little boring or you're a little too hipster for tokays because everybody else has them, uh, then the green-eyed gecko is for you. So it's a toke, basically a little more subdued coloration, but it has green eyes. So those things are wicked cool. Get about the same size as a toke gecko. So speaking of toke geckos, here we go. We got us a handful of toke geckos. Elisa, do you want to open this up and hold them? Sure. So that is a rhetorical question. We're not going to do it because if it gets out in our overstock room and gets behind a rack, uh, that would be a nightmare. Uh, but as much as I would love to see something bite Elisa, we will uh, we'll save that for another time because we're on a time crunch today. These actually look really, really good for toke geckos. They. Uh, they uh, are super clean, really orange. Um, different, a little bit different coloration on them. Um, they're, they're darker and oranger. Like this one up here by my thumb, that guy is really cool looking. I doubt they're a morph. Um, Tokay geckos have the ability to change color a little bit. So, yeah, well, who knows what they are. I doubt they're anything special, but they look pretty darn cool. A couple of Amazon tree boas, these are some really nice orange ones. Getting down to the end of it now. Those are really cool. Another snake guaranteed to bite you right in the nose if you give it opportunity to. I shouldn't say guaranteed. 80% chance. Another boa. And then this is one of the last things I'm really cool or I'm really excited about. These are elephant trunk snakes. So if you don't know what this is, these are fully aquatic snakes that you basically treat them just like a fish. So they kind of look like, uh, you know, something like a, like a worm, really. It looks like an earthworm. But these are snakes that you put in a tank. So you treat them kind of like a, maybe like a brackish water type of fish. Not necessarily brackish, not the best way, but a, uh, an Amazon style where the pH is a little bit lower, a little bit more acidity to the water. Um, warm and water. Uh, what? They take very warm water in the and, 80s. Yes, and they like it, they do like it warm. So, but these are really cool. You don't see these too often. Uh, fish eaters, lots of fun. So that's it for this shipment. We'll get all of this put away. Um, after, it, uh, after a period of time, we'll throw it up on the website if there's anything that you wanna see or that you perhaps would like to purchase and we haven't gotten it on the website, go ahead and shoot us a message. We can take care of that for you. Give the store a call. Um, as always, questions, comments, queries, concerns, let us know. Like the video, subscribe to our page, and uh, have a good one, guys. Awesome unboxing video! All right, so we had a second box come. It's been a few days. We've been really, really busy. So we're going to go ahead and splice this unboxing on top of the, if I pull it over, the other unboxing video. So I already did the tape. 
This is a shipment of, uh, of basically just frogs. So this coming weekend, we have a, um, an aquatic expo that we're going to do. We're going to be at uh, Reef Palooza or Reef Fest. What is it? Reef Stock. Reef Stock in Denver, Colorado. Uh, don't want to answer the phone. We'll let one of the other employees do that. So we've got a shipment of frogs here. So something to try to bridge the gap between the two, uh, the aquarium world and the reptile world. We figured Pac-Man frogs would be a great middle ground between the two of them, something easy to care for. And uh, yeah, so these come from a, a vendor of ours who does a very good job of, of packing. But this should be, and actually fun fact, these frogs were delayed almost all day. So they all look good. So if you come on in here, you can take a gander and see what we got. Just basically a whole bunch of Pac-Man frogs. So we got the strawberry pineapples, we have albinos, we have green four spots, fantasy frogs, albino four spots, what else? Uh, apricot pineapple, albino, and the list goes on. We have a whole box of them, as you can see in here. So pretty cool frogs, they make great pets. Fantasy frogs are awesome. But uh, yeah, so these will be on sale at the uh, at the Fish Expo this coming weekend, which is the first weekend in March. So if we get this video up in time and you're in the area, make sure you swing by. We'll have a booth full of cool stuff and the frogs. So we hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Like we probably already said, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.